Another article that I thought was interesting that I want to get into before I get into the uh, borders was the fact that the Army is spending half a billion dollars to train soldiers to fight underground. This is from military.com. They want to train soldiers to fight underground. Why would they do that? Wouldn't have anything to do with a deep underground military bases, would it? The things that don't exist, the things that are just a conspiracy theory. You know, we have things like a strange earthquake in an area that doesn't have earthquake faults, and when it's at a very shallow level, and when it doesn't have the seismic footprint of a natural earthquake, but it looks like a spike like you would have with a man-made explosion, nuclear explosion at a very low level. Remember when that happened on the East Coast, close to Washington? And then not too long after that, there was another similar event. Same kind of impulse uh, when you look at the seismic envelope. It's an impulse. It doesn't ramp up like a natural earthquake. And also done at a level that you typically uh, see man-made things done, not as a deep a level as you would see with a natural earthquake. A lot of people said, hey, you know, maybe something is going on in Washington and with the CIA West headquarters out near Denver. Maybe something is happening with that. You know, because when we look at the underground testing from the North Koreans, we can instantly recognize a nuclear weapon test underground versus an earthquake. And then, of course, the nuclear underground test in North Korea subsequently created an earthquake. And we could tell the difference between the two by looking at the seismic. Thing. But don't look at the seismic envelope in Washington or Denver. No, 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 no. There's nothing happening underground. And there's no deep underground bases. <laughs> and <then laughs> military.com has an interview with the guy. says, uh, uh, well, you know, this training circular is being published to provide urgently needed guidance to plan and execute training for units operating in subterranean environments, according to the document. They said small unit training in subterranean environments. That was published in November of 2017. They said, though prepared through an urgent development process, it is authorized for immediate implementation. Yeah, we got to get there right away and start training to fight underground in these non-existent spaces. Now they say, well, you know, we're going to be fighting in the cities and in the mega cities, and of course, there's going to be subways and sewers and mega cities. So we got to brush up on all that stuff. Uh huh. Maybe that's all it is. But then that also begs the question is why they're working so hard to fight in the cities, isn't it? Into developed cities. That was the thing that uh, Joe Biggs and I, we went to that asymmetrical warfare base inside Camp AP Hill. And the lady that was there, you know, it's a place where they go to train. And the lady that was there let us in. And we broadcast that live on the Alex Jones Show. We were there for several hours just walking through this city, a replica of Americana. Because you train to fight where you're going to fight. I mean, look at all the different military training exercises to fight in the cities and so forth. And there's other military bases where they train to fight in suburban and rural areas. It looked just like America. You know, we stood there on the corner of First and Main Street and said, this is kind of creepy that our government is training to fight in our cities. So, uh, uh, I don't know. What do they think is coming? And uh, now we see that they're fighting underground. But there's no such thing as a deep underground military base. None of that stuff ever happened. Staying healthy on the go is just as important as staying healthy at home. But sometimes supplements don't work fast enough. That's why InfoWars Life has created a powerful new addition to the Super Blue line, Super Blue Silver Immune Gargle. Available in one ounce, three and a half ounce, and 16 ounce bottles, Immune Gargle is perfect for the bathroom, kitchen, or wherever you go. The incredible new purifying formula is dentist recommended for daily use whenever you feel like you need to stay clean. As a powerful hand purifier or oral cleansing formula, just a small spray will help you stay clean when you feel surrounded by toxins. With powerful yet simple ingredients, Immune Gargle features Silver Soul Nano Silver for a powerful cleansing alternative. With Super Blue Silver Immune Gargle, staying toxin free is easy and affordable. Help stop the spread of toxins and stay healthy with Super Blue Silver Immune Gargle. Only available at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. <laughs> 